welcome to Baking with the Bakers. We are actually going to make some cookie icing and it's going to be a substitute for royal icing because royal icing is a royal pain. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys what the ingredients are and how much to use and we're going to go through making it. All right, in here we have uh, three cups of powdered sugar, uh, also called confectioner sugar. We have a quarter cup of milk right here, ready to go. Um, you may only need half of it. It really just depends on how your texture comes out. We have one eighth of a cup or two. Light corn syrup. And we're gonna have one tip, uh, sorry, one teaspoon of whatever flavoring you want. We're gonna use the imitation vanilla butter and nut flavor to match our cookies that we made earlier. So what you'll do first is put the sugar in the bowl. Then you're going to take your mixer up, turn it on just a stir, and you're going to drizzle in your milk. Just a little bit at a time. No, no, don't touch. Don't want you to get hurt, okay? Okay, we're gonna bump the speed up to about a two and drizzle in more milk. need more milk so we're gonna go ahead and prep another quarter cup okay so we might have added a little too much milk um, that's about an eighth cup additional so we had the initial quarter cup plus this eighth cup so we're gonna bump our speed up to a six pour in your corn syrup because my flavoring. Yeah, if you use an yellow. extract, it should be clear and you'll retain your white food or your white icing coloring. All right, so this is actually like really great flood consistency icing, but to make your walls and stuff, you want something that's not so runny. So what we're gonna do is we'll, go, we'll divide this uh, probably uh, take three quarters of this. It's okay, Alice. We'll take three quarters of this to reserve for the flood icing, and one quarter we're going to add a little more powdered sugar to to stiffen it up. All right, we're just going to eyeball how much uh, powdered sugar is going in here. Um, I'm going to guess it's going to take about a third of a cup, but. We're going to add it in slowly anyway, so we can watch the consistency. Oh, I'm making a mess too. Okay. Let's turn our beater up. And 
and we'll check our consistency. I know there's a bunch of sugar on the side, but yes, you get to hear my singing baby. Still way too runny. So let's go ahead and then I think between what I had before and this right now we're at a quarter cup. Thank you, Ember. looking better. Wow. See. A good rule of thumb is that you want your um, your wall icing to be about the consistency of toothpaste. Still a little bit runny, but I think we can actually work with this. It's a lot less runny than our uh, than our flat icing, that's for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape all this extra sugar back down in the bowl. Uh, we're going to get this going again, um, and then I'll take it out, let it set for a minute, and we'll start decorating cookies. Here's our flood consistency icing. Um. It's a nice yellow color from the flavoring. Sorry, I called this flood consistency. This is actually the wall consistency. And even though I'm ambidextrous, my left hand is not my strong hand, so this is a little precarious for me. <laughs> so you, you get the gist though of how the wall icing is supposed to work. You put this around the outside border of the cookie and then you wait for it to dry a little. So I'm going to go ahead and do these two. And after that, you can put your flood consistency icing in and it's not going to go all over the cookie and down the sides. So I'll meet you back in a few minutes after these two guys are done. Right here you can see, oh, he got some outside the line. But you can see how the wall icing works versus the flood icing. Uh, you can use a toothpick to kind of like move it around a little. Uh, we're actually getting kind of tired. It's been a long day for all of us, especially Daddy who's been at work all day and has cookies in his beard. <laughs> but uh, you all get the gist of how how to decorate your cookies, right? If you need any t pointers or tips, just uh, feel free to send me a message or comment. And hopefully you all have as good a holiday season as we do. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so now I just wanted to say a little something here at the end. Um, if you're making holiday cookies, give yourself ample time to get them done. Don't say, um, well, I need these cookies Saturday, so I'm going to do them Friday night. That's just not going to work for you unless you want to stay up all night. Um, <laughs> stay up all night. You've got to chill the dough for at least three hours. You've got to bake. Three hours. 
you've got to bake them. You got to let them cool. And then with your icing, you've got to let the wall icing. Like. You've got to let the wall icing wall set up icing. first before you put in the uh, flood consistency icing. If you are. If you're adding colors, that's going to take extra time. If you're adding sprinkles, that's extra time. Um, just give yourself a lot of time to get these things done. And probably over the course of a few days. So you don't wear yourself out and you're not like, ugh, I never want to do Christmas cookies again. Because <laughs> it can burn you out real quick. Um, if you want to do like Food Network style fancy cookies. Now, if you want to do like we did and just dunk them in the icing, that works too. Sorry for Ember. She's kind of hyped up on cookies right now. Okay, say bye. Bye. And thank you for watching and have a happy holiday season and be safe. Thanks.